Two firefighters injured on the job are recovering. The flames badly damaged a home in Waterford. News 8's Tina Detell has more on the impact and the investigation on the scene in Waterford. It was quite a trek for us to get up here to this fire scene, let alone for these firefighters who had to carry these heavy hoses and deal with the slippery conditions. But they were able to get this fire under control. But not before the fire heavily damaged this Manitoc Hill Road home, reported just before 8.30. Crews had quite a fight on their hands, just getting up the unpaved road. First, they searched the house to make sure no one was inside. And the one that was home had to jump out the window. Yeah, but from the second floor? From the first floor. That was a man in his 30s. His mother was not home. This is a family friend. How is he doing? I heard he had to jump out a window. I guess he's doing fine. Family members found comfort with each other while firefighters continued the cleanup. They removed rifles, and one firefighter told us he could hear ammunition going off as they fought the fire. And then when we uh, start attacking the fire, we ran out of water a couple of times because we couldn't get a supply line up to the top of the hill uh, quick enough. And that hill proved to be quite dangerous, covered with snow, ice, and then the water and foam used to fight the fire. It was slippery. Two firefighters fell, trying to go up it. The one with the knee injury is at the hospital right now. He appears he's going to be okay. The one with the mouth injury is on his way to the dentist because he lost a tooth. Because of the length of hose which had to be used and these treacherous conditions, as you can see, the cleanup is just as difficult as fighting the fire itself. Now, the fire marshal is also on scene right now trying to determine a cause. On the scene in Waterford, Tina Detell, News 8.